So hello guys, today we are going to talk about arithmetic series. So how exactly do we get the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence? First, we have to go back to the basic of the arithmetic sequence. What is an arithmetic sequence? We can identify an arithmetic sequence if it follows a pattern of adding or subtracting a fixed amount from one term to the next term. Arithmetic series is the sum of the given terms of an arithmetic sequence. So for example, what is the sum of the first 10 natural numbers? So let us add the numbers from 1 to 10. We have to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 and plus 10. So most people will add it 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 plus 3 equals 6, 6 plus 4 equals 10, and so on until they reach to plus 10. But if you're going to analyze the pattern of adding 1 to 10, which is an example of an arithmetic sequence, you can simply add the 1 and the 10, making it 11, 2 and the 9, making it equal to 11, 3 and the 8, until we reach 5 and 6. So in that case, instead of adding 1 plus 2, then plus 3, then plus 4, then plus 5 until we reach plus 10, we can simply get the sum of the first 10 natural numbers by adding 10 plus 1 is equal to 11, 9 plus 2 equals to 11, 8 plus 3 equals to 11, until 5 plus 6 equals 11, wherein we're going to have 5 11s. So 5 times 11 equals 55. From that pattern of adding the first and the last terms, the arithmetic series formula goes by S sub n is equal to n over 2 times the sum of the first plus the last term. I'll repeat, the formula for arithmetic series is S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n, where s sub n is the sum of the given terms of a sequence, of an arithmetic sequence, n is the number of terms, a sub 1 is the first term, and a sub n is the last term. Now let's have sample problems. We will do the sample problems on the iPad. So let's go to the iPad. Okay, so example number one. The sequence 4, 12, 20, and you are asked to find the S sub 6. The S sub 6 is the sum of the first six terms of this arithmetic sequence. So first, we have to find the common difference of this given sequence. So how do we find that? We just simply subtract 20 minus 12 gives us an 8. And if we do the same thing with 12 minus 4, we get an 8 as well, meaning our common difference is 8. Since we need the last term to find the sum of all the terms of an arithmetic sequence, we need to find a sub 6. And to find a sub 6, we use the nth term formula we discussed from the previous video, and now we plug in our given. a sub 6 is equal to our first term is 4, so let's write this one down. a sub 1 is 4. So we have 4 plus 6 minus 1 times the common difference of 8. So if we simplify the right, sides, the right side, this will give us 4 plus 5 times 8, which gives us a 4. We apply the rule of Genda, so 5 times 8 goes first, which is 40. Therefore, the sixth term of this sequence is 44. Now that we know the sixth term of this uh, arithmetic sequence, we can now get the sum of the first six terms. So that goes by S sub 6 is equal to N, which is 6 over 2, times the first term 4, plus the last term 44. So now we have S sub 6 is equal to 3 times 48 
and 48 times 3 is equal to 144. So the sum of the first six terms of this sequence is 144. Let us check by adding or let us check by listing all of them. So if we're going to list all the, all the terms from 4, we have 4, 12, 20, plus 8 is 28, plus 8 is 36, plus 8 will give us 44. So if we add all of this, 4 plus 12 plus 20 plus 28 plus 36 plus 44, we are going to get 144. So let's add it the, the usual way, using your calculator or the usual way. 4 plus 12 is 16, then 20 is, this is 48, and this is 80. So 16 plus 48 is 64, plus 80 gives us 144. Okay, let's proceed to our second example. Our second example, the first term already is given, which is negative 2. Our common difference is 6. Since we are supposed to look for the sum of the first 8 terms of this arithmetic sequence, we need to find the 8th term. And we can find the 8th term by applying the nth term formula. So with the 8th term formula, or with the nth term formula, we have a sub 8 is equal to the first term negative 2 plus 8 minus 1 times the common difference 6. Simplifying the right side, we're going to have negative 2 plus 7 times 6, which is equal to 42. And negative 2 plus 42 gives us 40. So our 8th term is equal to 40. So if the 8th term is equal to 40, now we can get the sum of the first 8 terms, applying the formula. So, substituting our given, we're in 8 over 2 times the first term, which is negative 2, plus the 8th term, or the last term, which is 40, gives us 8 divided by 2 is 4, and negative 2 plus 40 is 38. Okay? So, 4 times 38 gives us a 152. So, same thing we did on our first example, you can add from negative 2 and collect all the 8th terms up to 40 and add them, the sum should be 152. And now, let's go back to the previous video. So, I hope you did get something from today's video and I will put the challenge question here and then place your answers in the comments down below. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. Peace.